Aviva, we found Thornsley's mom. She's stuck in a mud wallow and the rest of the herd can't get her out. We need elephant creature power suits, fast! I'm almost done with your discs. Two minutes and you'll have it. Look, Martin, even Thornsley's trying to save her. Uh-oh, he could get stuck in the mud too. Thornsley, wait! Oh no! He's stuck too! To, to the, the Thornsley, Thornsley rescue! rescue! Hey, you look pretty cool as a mud man. You too, bro. <laughs> Aviva, we need the elephant discs. I've never worked so fast, but they're ready to go. Jimmy is teleporting them now. It's okay, little guy. You'll be back with your mom in a flash. Ah, like I said, in a flash. Stick around, buddy. We'll need you to activate our suits. Okay, you grab her trunk with your trunk and pull. I'll do the pushing, Martin. Not bad for a fake elephant. Pull, Martin, pull! Oh, it's working, Chris! We're moving her! Yes, I knew we could do it! Oh, oh no, this stuff is thick. She's stuck again. Guys, we're around the corner. We can help push her out. We're gonna need all the help we can get. Hurry! Don't worry, Thornton's mom. We're gonna get you out. Wait, stop, buddy. We don't want you to get stuck in the mud again. <laughs> Jimmy, keep an eye on him. I'm on it. Oh! <laughs> Thanks, Thornsley. I wanted a mud mask today. Okay, guys, you're hooked up. Go, Aviva! Ow! Ow! She's stepping on my foot! Ah, oh, it's working! Woohoo! Ah. Yeah! You did it! Thornsley and his mom are back together. <laughs> Way to go, Elephant Bros! Now that sounds like one happy herd of elephants. <laughs> uh, did we just set off the rhino alarm? Yep, we set it off. Whoa! <laughs> Did you see that? See it? I felt it. Ouch. No, I mean the ox peckers hung on even when the rhino charges. Now that's the coolest thing. I win. Okay, you got me. But what I don't get is who would want to mess with the third heaviest land mammal on the planet and take on that charge? So if that's who the rhino was going for, we were just in the way. They're after the cap. Amazing! That's a 1300 kilogram mega mammal with some fancy footwork. I've heard of tossed salad, but tossed lions? Incoming! Ooh, that horn is a serious weapon. Rhino defense is awesome. Uh-huh. Uh oh, no. I just tuned it up. I like it. Gives her character. You know, that made no sense. Black rhinos are solitary. They'd never stampede in a huge herd. It's unnatural. Are you okay? Oh, look at that little nub of a horn you got. I'm gonna call you Nubs. Oh, but there's no way your mom would leave you behind, little buddy. 
or not come charging towards a lost call. Something's very wrong here. Poachers? I don't know, but we're gonna find out. Let's track them. Uh-oh, don't look now, Chris, but someone's tracking us. They know there's no mom to protect them. We've gotta get nubs out of here fast. I think I'll stick around. Something about that rhino stampede just didn't seem right. Pack out your nubs. Whoa. Whoa! Fritera, don't fail us now. Later, lions. Dude, what are you doing up there? Getting a bird's eye view. I'll take nubs to safety and be right back. Don't get distracted and forget about me. Oh, don't worry. I won't leave you hanging. Yeah, we're up to kangaroo speed, Martin. <laughs> What's with the weird laugh? Wasn't me. Sounded just like an Australian kookaburra bird. <laughs> That's because it's the cool new kookaburra horn of Eva design. <laughs> Sweet. Hmm. Okay, you can stop honking now. I only honked once. Ah, <laughs> looks like the horn attracted a real one. <laughs> All right, we know it's your turf, Kookaburra. We're moving on. Whoa, we found them. Red kangaroos. Yeah, the males are red, but check out the females. Female red kangaroos are blue. Be out in a second. I'm setting up the digital measuring meter so I can get the distance of their leaps. So Chris, how many roos does it take to hop over your head before you look up? Huh? <gasps> Three! Whoa, got it! That last one just leaped 12 meters. That's about half a meter shy of the max jump distance of the red kangaroo, the greatest jumpers in the creature world. Incredible. I'm gonna add that leg power to your creature power suits. Cool. Jumping, over and out. Hey, you might be small, but I think that last hop was almost a meter high. 40 centimeters to be exact. I'm gonna call you Hopster. So you wanna take me on, huh? You're a tough little guy, aren't you? Oh. He's got to practice. <laughs> For a kangaroo, kickboxing is as important as breathing and eating because... <gasps> Ooh, nice one, Hopster. He got you good, Martin. Hey, Hopster, where are you going? We didn't even finish round one. <laughs> Probably didn't want to hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> now, here's what kickboxing is all about. One male roo saying to the other, I'm tougher than you. So, for kangaroos, the best kickboxer gets to be the top roo of the mob. I wouldn't go near that boxing match. One kick from those powerful hind legs could cause a serious stomach ache. Oh! It's a good thing kangaroos have an extra thick layer of skin on their belly to absorb blows like that one. Good luck, Challenger. If you win, you'll take over as roo boss. And the Roo Boss wins and stays head of the mob. An oak tree can drop 23,000 acorns in the fall. And the Blue Jays got one. She flies off. Finds some soft soil. Pushes the acorn into the ground. Blue Jays hide acorns. Well, squirrels can remember where they hid the nuts and dig them up in the winter. Memory. And hey, blue jays are bird brains. Ah, for a blue jay, that's a compliment. Because this bird brain is smarter than a squirrel. A blue jay is so smart, she can remember where she hid her acorns through the winter and into next spring and come back to the exact spot to eat it. Oh, better memory. You couldn't do that. Hmm. Get this. Any acorn a squirrel forgets to eat stays safely in the ground. Then, when the snow melts and the sun shines in the spring, 
Those acorns grow into oak trees. That's how the gray squirrel plants the trees that feed it. Well, any acorn a blue jay chooses not to eat stays safely in the ground. Then when the snow melts and the sun shines in the spring, those uneaten acorns grow into oak trees. That's how the blue jay plants oak forests. <gasps> blue jay's better. Gray squirrel's greater. Blue jay. Gray squirrel. Blue. Gray. Blue. Gray. Hmm. Ah! <laughs> Check this out. A gray squirrel digs a fake hole to fool acorn predators, like deer and wild turkey. Turkeys eat acorns too? Yeah, look. The turkey is tricked. The squirrel buries the acorn safely over there. Ha, now that's clever. And we can bury 300 acorns in a single day. Please. <laughs> Just one acorn at a time? Us Blue Jays, we can stuff one acorn into our expandable throat pouch. Then two, three, four in our throat pouch and an extra one in our mouth. Then fly off with all five acorns at once. All the way over here. We Blue Jays can carry more acorns at a time and carry them further, up to eight kilometers away, and plant them. That means we can spread the oak trees farther and faster. Go Team Blue Jay!